there's just uh, because it's really amazing. It's about empowering uh, women as well. Here in Dubai, you have to know that there are a lot of mompreneurs, a lot of moms who started their own business, uh, and a lot of moms who are just, yeah, really, really good at what they are doing. Hi guys, Oxy here and welcome to my channel. I received so many questions about family life in Dubai. How to move to Dubai with kids? What are the school fees? How to find a nanny in this city? So today I'm gonna meet with a friend of mine, Tani. She's a Dubai blogger. She has two amazing kids. And let's ask you a couple of questions about what it is like to be a mom in this city. So let's go. Hi Tani, how are you today? Hi Oxy, hi guys, I'm fine. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us a little about your story? How did you move to Dubai and why sure. you decided to move here? Okay, sure. I'll try my best. So, uh, hi, good morning. My name is Tani. Uh, I'm a blogger here in Dubai. Uh, my blog is called Our Big Dubai Adventure. And uh, yeah, I'm writing about our life in Dubai, about motherhood and um, things to do in, uh, with kids in the city. So, I think we moved to Dubai about three and a half years ago when my husband accepted uh, a job offer here. Um, and yeah, I back then I was nine months pregnant with our first child. It was a big surprise for us uh, that we got this job offer. And um, since then we are here and we are very happy. Nice, and what were the procedures uh, you had to follow as an expert in terms of visas, health insurance and mm. other formalities? So I think we were very lucky because my husband is working for a big company um, based in mm -hmm. Switzerland and they organized basically everything for us. Um, I think it took us about six weeks roughly uh, to get everything uh, organized sorted, and yeah. sorted out exactly. And uh, But it was very easy in our, in our mm -hmm. case. Okay, and uh, uh, when you, uh, you moved here, did you stay in the hotel you said? Yeah. Yes, so uh, when we arrived, um, uh, so for us it's a little bit different maybe as well because normally you would uh, before you would visit the place where yeah. you're going to move but uh, for us it was not possible because I was uh, pregnant and then we had the baby so we actually before moving to Dubai we had never been here um, so we we came to the hotel uh, when we arrived and we stayed there for about yeah the six weeks mm -hmm. and we had a look at the different neighborhoods um, we wanted something that is central uh, family friendly um, and close to the a metro station because I'm not driving here. Um, yeah, so we, we opted for the marina after, the after marina. the six months. Yeah, it's a great area. Uh, I live there as well. <laughs> and um, I know you have an amazing blog which is called Our Big Dubai Adventure. Thank you. So can you tell us a little about your blogging journey and what motivated you to start blogging? Yeah, sure. So um, before we moved here to Dubai, before I became a mom, uh, I was working in PR and communication um, in, in several big companies. And uh, so writing has always been my passion. Mm -hmm. And when we moved here, I uh, bec became a stay-at-home mom. Uh, I, I gave up uh, on, on my career for a little while. And, uh, but I still wanted uh, to, yeah, to stay in the field, to do some writing. Uh, basically, at the beginning, I started with a blog for my friends and family back home mm -hmm. in uh, Switzerland, Germany. And uh, yeah, I, I suddenly realized that a lot of people started following me and uh, yeah, that's how I started the blog. Was it easy to gain followers and readers? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's say, uh, I don't want to go too much into that. <laughs> but I know that it's very challenging actually, it's yeah, not so easy. Uh, it's not easy at all. Uh, so I personally chose not to, not to buy any followers yeah. or to, so it's all organic growth. And it takes a long time. Yeah. Um, then for me, it's not so much about the numbers. It's more about the interactions with, with the followers. Uh, I, I really like it when people are asking me some question or tell me they uh, engagement. Yeah. Exactly. And when there's some engagement, and um, when when people tell me that I inspire them to do something. Uh, yeah. Okay. Great. And uh, I know you started your new project, which is called Five to Connect. Yes. So what is it about? So Five to Connect is a very new project. I started it uh, at the beginning of this year. It's basically a speed networking concept between bloggers, uh, mm -hmm. because here are many bloggers in Dubai, and uh, brands, so small uh, family-oriented brands. And um, so Five to Connect is about bringing them together, uh, mm -hmm. trying to work together to help each other out. It's about empowering uh, women as well, um, because here in Dubai you have to know that there are a lot of mompreneurs, a lot of moms who started their own business, uh, and a lot of moms who are just yeah, really, really good at what they are doing. But they uh, they need some uh, connection, exposure, yeah, connection, connection, exposure, exactly. 
Oh, great. And um, what does your everyday life in Dubai look like? Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> so I think <laughs> uh, a mom's everyday life uh, looks <laughs> the same. Bit everywhere the same. So it's, uh, I have two small kids. They are now nearly two and, and three year old. Uh, so still very small. Um, but since only very recently I've started taking the, the mornings off and uh, working uh, on the blog, uh, working on some projects and uh, in the afternoon I'm with the kids so we're trying to mm -hmm. go out to do something together and uh, yeah. <laughs> so your older son goes to school now, right? Yes, he started school. And uh, what are the schools uh, like in Dubai? Is it different from the ones in uh, Europe? Uh, well, for us the which is what is really different already is that uh, Luca is now uh, three and a half years old and mm -hmm. he's already going to school. Uh, back in Switzerland or, uh, or Germany, uh, he would not be at school uh, at this age, at mm -hmm. this very early age. But it's, it's great actually, he loves it. Um, here in Dubai, all schools are private, which is a big difference as well, uh, cost-wise. Yeah. So uh, it does make a difference if you go to a public school or to a private school. Um, what is also different, I would say, is that you have to choose here between uh, the British uh, system and the American system. For us, this was a, a big decision because we actually, uh, being experts, we don't know where we will move next. Mm -hmm. So we have opted for the British system, but uh, we don't know if it actually was the, the right decision. Yeah. And uh, I think even the system is different in terms of education. I heard they use a lot of laptops and computers here? Uh, not uh, at that uh, early age, maybe later, maybe uh, later. but Luca is, is still very, very small, so it's uh, so very... about games, Yeah, uh, play game based, exactly, so they are... And what about Nanny? Do you have a Nanny? We do have a Nanny, we have a live-in Nanny. Uh, when we moved to Dubai, I told my husband, I never, ever, ever <laughs> want a Nanny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking the same. <laughs> so I, I was very clear about that. Um, then actually uh, I realized with two kids it's not that easy and a traveling husband. Mm -hmm. uh, so my husband is uh, a lot on the road because, uh, well on the road, he's uh, flying to mm -hmm. different countries. Um, and I'm alone with the two kids so, and I had a C-section in both cases. So I needed some help actually at home. So uh, we started the process of uh, finding, uh, uh, looking for a nanny and it was not easy at all. Uh, but I think we, we are now very lucky uh, to have found the one. And uh, what are the requirements to have a nanny in Dubai? I think you need to cover her visa and some other mm. stuff. Uh, I think you even need to have a minimum salary. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, as you, I think you mentioned before when we were talking, I think you also need to have a minimum uh, apartment space or uh, yeah, at like least two bedroom apartment. Exactly. I think exactly. it's required by law. So in our case, uh, she's having obviously her own room, own bathroom, maid room, yeah. uh, maid room exactly. Um, and then you you need to sponsor her, so um, she, you will need to take care of her uh, visa, of the uh, medical check, insurance, health insurance, food as well, yeah. Food. I mean, food. You can. It, it depends on uh, what you agree on on, mm -hmm. on the uh, on what is agreed on the contract. I mean, she can either be live in or live out as well, which makes a difference. In our case, our nanny is live in, so she's More living with us yeah. exactly, and she's just eating whatever we are eating as well. Um, then what is also normally required is that you pay her a one uh, flight back home per year. Per year. And do you have an idea of the average salary of the nanny in Dubai? Uh, well, I would say for living at around two two thousand five hundred is three thousand, and mm. live out three thousand five hundred, okay. more or less. I mean, this then you have obviously. A, uh, a range of places. And does she have a vacation, right, every year? Yeah, of course, like she has one month's vacation. 22 days. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I mean, she has one month's vacation, and then whenever we go uh, to Europe, or um, then uh, she's off as well. And also, um, in our case, we have agreed that she will get the uh, public holidays here off. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, what do you think about Dubai lifestyle? Have you been uh, able to adapt to the city easily, and what about your kids? Uh, very easily, actually. I was I was very surprised because I, um, when my husband got the job offer, I did not want to move to Dubai at all at that time. Um, uh, so I, I had the impression that Dubai was very superficial, uh, not very family friendly, mm -hmm. not culturally, not very rich. Very close. Yeah, uh, yeah exactly. Um, and actually, when we moved here, I was surprised and in such a good way. I mean, I absolutely love the city. I don't want to move <laughs> away. 
Um, it's it's perfect, especially for new moms. It's perfect because you have a lot of uh, stay-at-home moms, a lot of moms who are, um, quit their job for a little while, and uh, so especially when you're a new mom and when you're a family, just start, yeah, starting to settle somewhere. It's perfect. So you are from Germany, and uh, yes. your husband is from. <laughs> so, uh, well, he's Portuguese and Italian, but uh, he has grown up and lived always in Switzerland. In Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And uh, what language your kids speak? Um, oh, well, <laughs> so at home we speak uh, French, German and English. So my husband speaks French to the kids, uh, I speak German with the kids and uh, our nanny English. So Sweet. they speak all three languages. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, so I, I think that's the case for a lot of uh, Dubai kids. Um, because culturally it's a very rich place. Yeah, um, and it's easy to learn different languages yeah, for them as well. And, and even it's amazing because... Uh, like so connect with different people. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, my son, uh, our son, he is uh, three and a half years now. And he, he knows about Ramadan, <laughs> he, knows, he knows about all Indian... Uh, uh, holidays. <laughs> holidays as well, exactly. So this is really amazing about Dubai, that, that they interact with so many different nationalities, uh, cultures, uh, religion. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I agree. What are your favorite family destinations in Dubai? Where do you like to go with kids? Uh, usually, whenever we can, we love to be outside, obviously, because it's a great place. Uh, we love to go to the beach. Um, yeah, there's just uh, because it's really amazing and that there, there's something called Privily which gives you actually access to uh, different yeah. uh, five-star hotels which is great for the kids so we go uh, usually every uh, every weekend we go at least once to the beach mm -hmm. then uh, we like to go to Kite Beach as well uh, Dubai Design District is great uh, just for them to go into different parks mm -hmm. um, and uh, during the hotter summer months we there are a lot of uh, inside play areas in Dubai uh, like Kidzania is one, Mata Playtown, um, Oli Oli, uh, and they are, I mean, nothing to do with what we know from uh, from Europe. I mean, this is amazing. Uh, these display areas are really great. Yeah, guys, I will leave the links uh, to in the description below, so you can check them out. And uh, what do you think about motherhood in Dubai? Uh, is it easy to connect with other moms? Um, so at the beginning when we arrived in Dubai I felt a little bit lost especially because my husband had to travel immediately mm -hmm. um, but here are a lot of Facebook uh, groups uh, mom groups which are really really uh, I mean very active first of all and very uh, useful as well yeah. um, so I, I started following some bloggers as well here are a lot of uh, mom bloggers but bloggers in general um, that was very useful as well. So I tried to connect and get some information mm -hmm. uh, via these groups, uh, bloggers, etc. And then I started like meeting people, uh, meeting moms at the play area. I went to different uh, coffee mornings because here are a lot of um, coffee mornings organized for moms. Mm -hmm. And this is a great way to connect and to make some friends. And the last question, <laughs> what advice would you give to soon to be expatriates in Dubai, especially families? Um, Wow, good question. I think, uh, first of all, come open-minded, because Dubai is, uh, in many cases, I think Dubai is not what you expect yeah. it to be. And also, uh, be prepared to stay much longer than uh, <laughs> what you thought you would. <laughs> and uh, what else? I think, yeah, if you can visit uh, the city before, obviously that's, that's uh, always good. Yeah, and just have a look. Ex exactly, just have a look at the different uh, neighborhoods. And I think and to find accommodation before you move. If you can, it's easier, yeah. If you, if can, you can, obviously, if you it's easier. Idea, yeah. Um, yeah, but otherwise, just come and enjoy because it's an amazing city and uh, it's much better than you would expect. Yeah, but you have to be ready that there will be a lot of challenges and difficulties obviously. you will face. Yeah, it's not easy. You need to adapt to the culture, uh, community, and uh, yeah, maybe I could just say that as well that uh, we are. Uh, We've been, we have people that move every two years, so um, we love to adapt to new cultures. We are, um, we have lived in a lot of different places, so it all depends, obviously, where you're coming from as well. Yeah. But for us, I mean, the experience is very positive, and um, no, I'm very, uh, very happy. <laughs> okay, thank you, Tani, for coming. Thank you for your time. Thank uh, you. Very. I hope, guys, you find this information useful. I will leave the link to Tanya's blog in the description below, so check it out, and probably you can connect with her. And sure. thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.